You're not going to believe what's about to happen right now. Before they change their mind, I'm taking them up on the opportunity because uh, I'm going for a ride. All right. Okay, just close it on you and you're good to go, sir. All right, here we go. We're going uh, a thousand miles, right? At least. I know not everybody's going to see the same thing I do, but there's enough room to lay down back there, which means this isn't just a road trip car. This is a camping road trip car. You can go to your favorite camping spot 200 miles away. You can camp for a week. You can come back with more energy in your Aptera than you left with. But we try to get the interior to look as you know conventional and comfortable as possible. Yeah. You know, the yoke steering wheel is kind of unique. We've got a rear view system in front of you so you can look through to the road, but also see everything that's going on around behind you. we got a regular backup camera here. So when you back up, you can see the you know, lines to do your parking. And then a regular infotainment screen, very similar to a Tesla, except we put a lot more functions on the screen. So you know, window functions and stuff like that are on here, light functions. And you can also tell what the solar charging is doing. Yes, there's um, the data. We only have the dash and the roof on here, uh, but you know, then you have other traditional things like music and, and other stuff like that. I mean, the thing about this too is because it's so aerodynamic, you don't realize most of the noise from your driving is from the wind buffeting around. So when you eliminate that wind buffeting, it's eerily quiet. Does it's, the motor have a nice little whine to it? You guys give uh, it a nice little, uh, it nice little does. sound? The production motor is a lot quieter. This is a pre-production motor and it has different windings. So it winds a lot more. All right, so about 40, 44,000 pre-orders. How much is the production <laughs> version that you anticipate releasing? Uh, the base version is 26.9. The launch version, which is 400 miles range, full solar and all wheel drive is 32.5. If you get the thousand mile range battery pack and all the fixings, it's about 44,000. Yeah, so it's affordable. It's reasonably affordable. Yeah. We were able to do that. It's so efficient. We use about a fourth of the power that, that most other average EVs use. So we have a pack that's a quarter of the size of those other EVs. The battery pack's the most expensive thing. Right. So we're able to build a pretty inexpensive vehicle, even though the body is this carbon fiber SMC Formula One goodness that's much more expensive than, than steel or aluminum. We kind of make up for the extra expense of that uh, in, in the cheap battery. And from a performance perspective, zero to 60 in four seconds. Four seconds. Yeah. Which is pretty dang quick. That's quicker than my Model Y. Yeah, flashback to With years. acceleration boost, by the way. <laughs> Flashback 20 years and imagine buying a supercar. You, you couldn't get a supercar no. for four seconds. No. A million bucks. Right. So, you know, today it's, uh, you know, there, there's, there's Tesla and others that they go pretty fast. But, you know, for something that costs $33,000 to get you to 60 in four seconds, we think it's a, a hell of a bargain. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then talk to me about the solar. So there's solar on the roof, right? The solar gets you about 40 miles a day of additional rain. So think of it like a trickle charger for your for your vehicle. As long as it's out in the sun, it's trickle charging your batteries with uh, 700 watts of potential power. And then when you're not out in the sun and you're hooked up to a wall connector or what have you, what kind of a charge rate are we getting out of this thing? The cool thing about a vehicle that's so efficient is just your standard extension cord that you plug into a standard wall outlet will get you 200 miles of recharge in the Aptera overnight. Wow. So it charges extremely quickly because it uses so little energy per mile. That means you don't need to install a big expensive charger, you don't need a 240 volt 50 amp, you just need a, a regular extension cord that you plug into any 110 outlet and you can charge the Aptera to a significant range overnight. And what are the battery configurations as far as range goes, the options for range, what do you have? Uh, 250, 400, 600, no, no. Yeah. So four options actually, I didn't realize you had four, I thought you had three. Is that new? Like newer? Did you come up with a fourth one? No, we, we came up with 400, and then we just decontent that one for 250. Okay. And then we actually use a taller cell, so our standard pack is the 2170, just like in a Model 3 or Model Y. Okay. NMC 811, so you can see it's in a Model 3 or Model Y. And then to get the bigger packs, the 60 kilowatt hour pack uses a 90 millimeter tall cell, and the 100 kilowatt hour pack uses a 120 millimeter tall cell. Okay. So that allows us to use all the same. Uh, uh, power busing and BMS and power distribution 
and the same battery case and all that stuff. We just need the carriers to be a little taller. And that's something Sandy Monroe told us was, you know, simplify, make the parts do multiple duty. Don't design four distinct packs. I mean, design one pack and then change the cell to make them uh, yeah. different versions. So. And it adds to the affordability of something like this. So, and it adds to the affordability yeah, yeah, of something yeah. like this, right? And then, so the packs themselves, what, what size are the packs then? Being so efficient, I would imagine they're, like you said, a quarter of the size. So what's the smallest, what's the biggest? Uh, the smallest, and it's, it, we have to wait until the EPA tests it to actually come up with a number. We're calling and 400 mile and 250 mile but it's a 27 kilowatt hour pack a 45 kilowatt hour pack a 62 kilowatt hour pack and 106 kilowatt hour pack so that's that's the specifics but we, we, we kind of round round up <laughs> yeah that's i mean that's that's still a sizable pack for your thousand miles i mean 106 kilowatt hour battery pack is not a small it's not a small pack, pack but you get four times yeah, as far as some of these other sure. vehicles. You know, this whole vehicle with a 400 mile range pack weighs less than the battery pack in the Mighty Ford. Right. Pickup truck. So, <laughs> you know, at 2,200 pounds, you know, with a 400 mile range battery pack, you know, this, this vehicle is a different kind of transportation device. Yeah, and what do you foresee as the number of these coming out each year? How many do you anticipate to sell per year once things are up and running and smooth? Uh, we anticipate building several hundred in 2024, uh, you know, possibly getting up to a thousand, and then in 2025, building maybe 12,000, and then hopefully we'll be at full production, you know, uh, slamming out as many of these as we can from one factory by 2026 and delivering, you know, 20 plus thousand. We have been talking with some investors about opening up another plant in 2025 too, so it is possible that we're building much more than that by 2026, but you know, we got to kind of work that out over time. Yeah, and where, where are you guys planning on building the production? Uh, Carlsbad, California. Carlsbad, California. Yeah. We gotta we gotta head out there at some point and check it out in person because these things are wicked cool. But the thing I like about this the most, and it's something I preach all the time, we don't need another hundred thousand dollar SUV. We don't need another hundred thousand dollar truck. We need more affordable options. And especially when you're talking about something like this, where you can add this to your fleet and you can have this as another option in your garage. We don't need a hundred thousand dollar version of this. We've already got plenty of those. This is affordable, which is. What's cool about it, I think, anyway, so. Yeah, and they don't pay anything for fuel. You get it all from the nuclear generator in the sky. See? Uh, stellar wireless charging is provided with your Aptera up to 40 miles a day, 11,000 miles a year of free power in Southern wow. California. And if you're in a drearier place like Seattle or something, you can still get like 8,000 miles a year. So it's just compelling range. That's free energy. That's, uh, that's Well, and there's about. enough room in the boot to add a bunch of solar panels for your road trips. You could actually extend yep. that. Yeah, our, uh, our solar charge is actually extensible, so you can add another you know, 600 watts of solar while you're camping and, yeah. and really crank in the juice. Yeah, very good. Well, thanks so much for the ride. Thanks so much for the discussion. I cannot wait to see these things on the road. And before they hit the road, maybe you can take me on a ride somewhere really cool. Maybe we'll yeah. uh, talk about that. Well, thanks so much for uh, sharing it with us. Thanks, brother. Nice to see you.